In this video, it's a collection caper, sort of. Uh, it hasn't entirely gone to plan for reasons I will explain as we get underway. We're um, running a bit behind um, because, yeah, things have been going spectacularly wrong because of nut. Uh, we're meant to be in the multiplayer at this stage. My plan was to drop the multiplayer with Glitch in the Matrix. New owner. What? Glitch in the Matrix. Look. That was just loads of. Identical. Woo! All right. Your sign, man. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, what was I saying? You were interrupting me now. You Sorry, you were saying. Interrupting my creative flow. Oh, God, no. Not your creative flow. You were saying how terrible it's gone so far. Yes. So the, the and we're supposed to be in the multiplayer. Yeah, the day started well when I couldn't find the V5 for the multiplayer. I seem to have an old one, not the one I actually need. And then uh, we got to the unit and I couldn't find the key for the multiplayer. So that's also gone missing. So uh, I'm slightly confused as to what's... I reckon um, you could put happened. them both together somewhere safe. That, that sounds like a level of organisation. That doesn't that sound like you, of... but you know, your headspace wasn't good last week. Maybe you got suddenly organised. Yeah. And uh, we had identified a car to purchase. I haven't actually bought it yet. Um, the plan was pretty much to do my standard fare of um, going and looking at it, which means I bought it. Um, but we're still going to go and see the person who's bought the multiplayer. And uh, he's going to take us to the um, car for sale. And uh, we're going to check it over and then might buy it. But really, we've got the luxury if we don't want to buy it, then we just come back and uh, that's that. That's gonna be an odd sensation for you if you don't buy a car. Yeah, usually I don't really have any choice because otherwise how am I gonna get home? Uh, we've backfired once uh, in the very early days of the channel. Sadly, I wasn't recording the trip itself, but I did um, go out to buy a Rover 600 from what turned out to be the dodgiest car dealer in Coventry. And uh, it, it hadn't got an MOT, and uh, the bloke was wearing sunglasses indoors and being all mouthy, and I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna run away at this point. And uh, I managed to find a Rover 400 um, on Facebook, I think it was. So I bought that and got home in that, because it was, I think it probably was still cheaper than the train, but it was certainly more fun than the train. But, uh, what one of the people in this car isn't quite used to such flights of fantasy and this complete lack of any sort of plan and was feeling a bit uncomfortable about it. So it's probably worked out quite well for you today. <laughs> what, you mean having little safety nets or whatnot? Yeah. Now, why would I want things like that? Just ridiculous. Yeah, just ridiculous. Go with the flow. I don't know what's going to occur. But we're just laughing along the uh, I mean... M4 motorway. Hint. Oh, M4 motorway. There it is. Yeah. And Even uh, lunch didn't work look, out. Look, look what a beautiful day it is. It's glorious. The weather is typically Welsh. Very wet. So are we in our new car? No. No, we're in Betty. It's all a bit gloomy because this camera's not very good in the dark. Um, let's explain why. Yeah, the why is it was rubbish. So that's, <laughs> that's now two Berlingos um, mm -hmm. we have um, failed to buy yeah. in the space of a week. Apparently, I mean, the advertisement was so good for that one. Yeah, okay, maybe going to look at a car in Gloucestershire um, where the photos have been taken in the dark with a torch, it looked like. It looked like one of them. It had been taken with a torch, a camera torch, from a different car. Like, there was just a spotlight. Oh, yeah, it looked like it was taken from inside the car. It might have been his headlights. <gasps> <laughs> but we're illuminating it so yeah okay lesson learned read adverts yeah better. but we rocked up and of course ian was setting the expectations that it didn't have a module top or what's it well called? i didn't know it had a module top uh, and it turned out to be a quicksilver peugeot partner quicksilver yeah, which That's top of the range you'd been watching one on um ebay yeah, just on as, eBay. as the other one that we didn't yeah. win went out that, so. that one had half the miles on it so yeah, and uh, went for fifteen hundred and fifty pounds, I think, on eBay. But when we so I was like, well, this one's only a grand, so mm -hmm. you know it doesn't even have to be that good. But... No, but when we rolled up and saw it was that spec, we were excited. Mm -hmm. Very excited. Because that's the spec we, that we want, and this, as we've mentioned, is going to be the sort of tightest go-between car mm. before we get the Berlingo. Yeah, and there, and there <laughs> are a few places where bodywork had been done rather terribly. The mm. paint didn't match everywhere. But it looked like a straight van until we mm. started really having a look around it. 
And uh, I think the defining moment for me, and we got plenty of time, by the way, because the buyer wasn't there. He didn't turn up. And uh, then when we said, where <laughs> it, are it you? Strange. He said, well, you said you weren't, wouldn't be here till four. He didn't turn up at four o'clock either. So or we had, indeed 20 past. Or, or 20 past. Yeah. And uh, I think at about 25 to five, he finally said he was on his way. Great. Thanks, mate. Um, but what a twist of circumstance, because usually... The buyer doesn't turn up. Yeah. But no, we had the seller, the, the didn't. seller didn't turn up. <laughs> but while we were looking around it, having a good inspection, I thought, let's get the torch out, let's have a look underneath. And it got the usual floor damage you get on a lot of French cars because they have something that looks like a chassis rail, and it isn't. It's just floor, and it just bends and buckles if you use a jack on it. So that had happened a bit, but not too bad. Uh, it was finding expanding foam in the passenger side sill. It was probably the moment I went, ah... Mm -hmm. And then we began to look at that fabulous modu top <laughs> with the um, glass roof, <laughs> glass panels, and started to notice the amount it was of slightly sealant that had been bodged convex. into it. Yeah. Mm. So we're starting to think we don't want a modu top at all. We live in no, Wales. No, we do. We do want a modu top. Water leaks are always an issue. We do want a modu top. No, we don't. We do want a modu top. It makes no sense. Don't care if it makes no sense. It's cool. Okay, fine. Well, water's going to get poured on it your isn't. head. Oh, it usually does. Ellie likes to pour water on my head. Yeah, and the multiplier. Like to pour water on heads as well, but yeah. yeah. So really, the day has been an unmitigated disaster <laughs> in pretty much every way. It has. I mean, even right with... down to the Burger King dinner. Uh, yeah. With the least appealing burgers, I think. I've ever so eaten today is rather depressing because at midday ish, we were at a service station, mm -hmm. and it's now seven thirty, six thirty, whatever time it is. Uh, yeah, half and six. we are at a service station. Yeah. But so, even little things like we went so the wrong way home. down the motorway. Oh, yeah, that happened as mm -hmm. well. Yeah, yep. we went the wrong way We down went to the a place that's supposed to have a cafe, didn't have a cafe. Didn't have a cafe, no. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's been marvellous. It has been one of those days. One of those days where I should have stayed at home. But the children will be pleased because we're going to come home with McDonald's, which Eventually. is one of their favourite things this in is, life. This is going to be later than an up and downs dinner. Oh, crikey. Mm. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we, I we wonder what takeaway they did have in the end. Um... I don't know. No. Maybe we should ask him. Yeah. That's a kitch of the up and down channel. Uh, yeah, he's <laughs> like it's epically star. long. Yeah, very amusing. Q and A. It's brilliant. We, we need to go home because those children do need food. Uh, I've had enough of being in a car. Actually, those children don't need food, mm. but we need to stop them from eating all the Christmas food. Yes, otherwise Christmas is cancelled. I am that kind of mother. We do have Christmas yeah. food. Well, a huge thanks to um, Mike of um, Classic, Car Classic Car Wales. Is it? Classic Car Wheels. Classic, Classic Wheels. Wheels. Classic oh, Wheels. No. Wales. Terrible. Hang on two seconds. We, we will get this right. Um, we will because, get this um, right because he, he's um, been superb. And I've totally lost my phone. Which is very kind of him. And um, he, he was also very much the voice of common sense. <laughs> Can uh, you believe that? He had to listen yeah. to a voice of he, he, it, It's not like he, he went, you should walk away from this, but he um, tried to gently suggest that a little common sense might Classic not go Classic Wheels on this. Wales, that's what Classic it's... Wheels Wales. Yes. So, um, um, Owner so... of, if you were at Brooklyn's, that awesome Sierra yeah, that with awesome an awesome Sierra. story. Also sold a brown, russet brown Morris Ital to Sarah Crabtree off of that there telly and stuff. So, um, yeah, and he has some taste. lovely things, yeah, some very lovely things. Mm. But, yeah, we're, we're gonna go home now, we're still quite a long way from home. <laughs> um, it was uh, not the right call to go and look at that particular car, <laughs> perhaps. So, um, we're gonna go home and forget all about it. So, there we go, it's another successful purchase. <laughs>